Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. If you've been here before, thank you so much for tuning in again. If you are new, I hope you like the content and consider subscribing. Today we are decorating in my catch-all planner for February 8th through the 14th. So we are going to be decorating for a Valentine's spread for the 14th of February. Um, this video may be a little bit longer than my normal videos just because I am not sure what I'm doing at all. Um, but I am going to, I have an idea. So um, the first thing I want to do is I actually want to utilize this particular cardstock. And what I'm going to do I'm going to use the Happy Planner um, Classic Box Punch. And I'm just gonna place that right in. And if you're not familiar with what this is, basically it punches out the box for you. And this box would basically be used as decoration and it just fits perfectly like in your vertical planner. Okay, we are not using this particular piece, I don't think, so I'll just set it to the side. Um, I more so wanted it because I wanted to have a cutout here. All right, let me grab some sticker, some scissors, so that I can show you guys how I'm gonna actually cut this. Actually, I'm going to use, I'm gonna use this just so I can get some straight edges. And what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna place this kinda in the corner. Okay. So I actually need to cut this side a little bit more. All right, stick with me. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I think I have an idea here. don't think we'll need that cardstock anymore. We'll see how that looks. I think it's a little bit too big on this side, so I'm gonna trim it down a little bit more. Okay, awesome. And now I'm gonna just cut it this way, but I'm gonna cut it probably about half of that box. Okay, so what I am going to do is I'm actually going to place this in the corner and it's gonna be more of a, like a, like a kissing booth or Valentine's stand is what my idea was. I do need some white out. I'm gonna go ahead and white out this quote at the bottom. I'm not gonna worry about the um, what you can see behind here because I've already cut out an image that I want to use. So I'm not concerned with that. I think I do want to bring in some washi though at the bottom before I stick this down. And let me also find that picture. Okay, so I've got the picture that I'm going to use. Now I'm just trying to find some washi. I think I'm going to use this Happy Valentine's Day washi because this is really like the only time I can use it. So I think I'm gonna use this medium size washi. And I think that's gonna be good. Or should I pair it with something more? Hmm. Let's do both. Okay. Now I'm not sure how these colors are going to look together, but that's the fun of decorating. If you, you know, don't like it this week, you can try something else the following week and just see how it goes for you. So I'm going to place a little bit of washi down here at the bottom. 
And then I'm going to place the Happy Valentine's Day washi right over it. I love layering washi. Now I am going to put some on this side because I like to have it balanced. But before I continue, I do want to go ahead and utilize my X-Acto knife so that I can cut this washi a little bit cleaner. Also going to cut it on the edge here. Perfect. So now we've got a little bit of washi at the bottom. I'm going to try to whiten this out one more time. Okay. So now we can take this and we'll try to make it right above it just so that I can still see that happy Valentine's Day there and then our picture we're gonna place it right here and I think that will be super super cute okay let's do that so let me actually turn this over let me grab some tape put that picture right there. I hope it's down good, but I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Yeah. I did good there. All right. Now we're going to put some more tape down, make sure it doesn't come up. And I think a lot of reasons why a lot of us plan to is just for the memory. So looking back at this spread, um, I think it'll be just really fun to look at. Okay, so now what I want to do, I do have some letters. I don't have any in red, do I? I don't think I have any in the red color, but I'm double checking before we start. You know what I do so I do have some I've actually got some in this this foil like this pink and red foil so I might use these actually and so what I wanted to do was create like a cute little word on top of this one And we'll do kisses. Now, me and my husband will be celebrating our 10 year anniversary. Oh my gosh, 10 years in June. So, super, super excited about that. All right, I think that's super cute. I almost wanna do another box over here, but I'm not, um, cause I kinda wanna make sure my spread is still really functional. Now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna use a black, a black Tombow pen. I did find one and I'm going to just draw a just draw a line 
and it's not a very good line, but that's okay. Just going to draw a line, and this is just going to be just for decorations. So this is just going to be our string. Okay. And so now I do have some hearts that I was able to find. And so I'm going to decorate this. I don't know if I want to use these hearts or the smaller hearts that I found, which are these. I might even use both, honestly. Um, but I also did find something in this book. And this is why this video is going to take a little bit longer because normally I have all of this stuff planned out. But today I was just like, I'm just going to freehand it, see whatever comes to mind. I do like these two. You know what? I'm going to use those somewhere else. I have an idea for those. Okay. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to then come over here and plug in this one and also this one. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna do one more thing here. I do see some little arrows, so I'm actually going to place those right along the edge, just kind of as a stopper there, so that there's, it's just not blank on the end, okay? Now, I'll take that pin again, and we're going to make it as if these are just hanging out. These are just decorations. Okay, I think that's adorable. Okay, so one additional thing that I wanted to do, I do wanna do another line. Since I'm only gonna do one box, I wanna do another line here. And I want to continue that line going up right off of the page. Okay. And so I'll put some additional um, stickers up there. But what I want to do, I think I want to add in these stickers. Because it's kind of got that brown in it. But also the hearts. So I think I'll try to maybe alternate and then also put some hearts in the middle and i just said i was going to alternate didn't i i guess it doesn't matter it's not life ending now my ocd may be a little upset with that but it's okay i am not going to pick that sticker up <laughs> we are just going to keep rolling with it and I think that might be all I can put as far as those larger ones. All right, so let's put in some more hearts. So I wanted to make sure this definitely looks like a Valentine's spread, but I didn't want it to be super overwhelming. My original thought was to do, um, I had some cardstock that was like cupcakes and candy and hearts and pink and red and it was a lot and I kind of wanted to keep it kind of neutral on the spread but still make sure it had that valentine's theme all right let me do one more red actually I don't think I can do another red unless I put it like right here I think we're gonna leave it out okay so now let's go back in and let's draw our lines. Now these lines don't have to be perfect. 
says the girl who's trying to make them perfect. Hmm. Okay, I think that's super cute. Now, I said I wasn't gonna use these, but now I'm just debating if I just wanna pop those in randomly. I think that might be cute just to pop that in. Okay, so we will also go ahead and highlight that it is going to be Valentine's Day. And I do have a Valentine's Day sticker. And you know what, I think that's gonna be cute if I place it right on top of there. And that's just gonna be our Valentine's. Now I wanna put some hearts on there too. Okay. So let's go ahead and tape this down because I do like it there. Let's also place a little bit of washi down underneath it, just like we did on this side. And that way we are bringing the washi in on both sides of the page. Okay. And we'll trim it up in just a moment. I'm just gonna put this on there too. Okay. And then we're gonna cut this one down. Now I'm gonna do a little bit closer to the edge of that page. Perfect. And then we're also gonna cut this one in a diagonal like we did the other. I'm gonna lift that up. Okay. So now I'm going to see if I can find some box stickers. I need some boxes that are going to be pink or red that is going to go with our spread. But I'm looking for a long sticker. Okay, let me go back this way. I know there's some long box stickers somewhere. Here they are. Okay. So this one would be perfect. Now my idea was to put it in my sidebar, but now I'm thinking that is too big. But what you can do, if you've never done this before, just cut your sticker. Just cut it to however long you want it to be. Okay, so we're not gonna use this part, but let's see if this is long enough for what I want. It is, so we're gonna put that down. And now, you take this sticker. You can actually just put it right on top and the only person that knows that that is a cut up sticker is me and you. <laughs> but it fits perfectly now where we want it. Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna find some more boxes here and I am looking for that red color and also the pink. So actually I'm just gonna go ahead and grab these and I'm even gonna grab this peachy color because remember that's kind of that pink peachy that we are seeing. So I'm gonna place a box on Tuesday. Now I know my daughter has an event on Thursday. Now what I normally do is I try to put the, the boxes um, on the days that I know that I have something going on, um, just so that it stands out a little bit more. 
And then the rest of the days, I normally just do a, a list of things to do. All right, let's see if there's any more stickers that I want to add from the colorful boxes. I didn't really put in too much black in here, so I don't think I want to bring in that harsh color. I think I'm just going to keep it with the, the pinks and the reds. All right, let's do a few small box stickers. And so what I'll probably use these for is more so of like a header. I don't want to use that same color, so I'm going to switch it up. Now these boxes are designed for the, um, the monthly spread, but of course we're not using a monthly spread. So... I do want to kind of place something there. And I think that's super cute. Okay. And I've got one more. And then also this sticker right here fits perfectly with our color. Awesome. Now I'm gonna try to see if I can pull in any more of the, that brown color. Okay, so I did find these flowers and now I'm like, do I really wanna add florals to this spread? And I feel like I kinda do, I don't know. This might ruin it, but I don't think I wanna add the green though at all, I know that. So I'm gonna see if I can try to maybe cut these out and not have any green in this spread because then it'll start to look more like a like a spring and I don't want that. Okay, this sticker is super hard to cut so I should have just left it on the page and then trimmed it out with my knife, but that's okay. We are gonna make it work. Okay, so now we got some of that sticker cut here. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it in half because I don't need a sticker that big anyway. place it right here on the side because it does have that red and then also um, that pink color going on in it and then also I think I'm gonna trim it down just so that we get just a little bit of it and then we'll place it right here We don't want to waste this sticker, so I'm going to put it right down here at the bottom. Now, of course, we have to trim it. There we go. Let's do the same thing to this side. to have something right there. So I think I'm gonna use the smaller sticker. And let's just trim it down a little bit. Well, actually, I'm just gonna cut it like that. Yeah, I said I wasn't gonna use the green, which is fine. I'll trim it one more time there.
There we go. Okay, I think that's cute. So now I'm going to, I am gonna use these smaller heart stickers that I mentioned earlier. I ended up going with the larger ones, but I do wanna still utilize these. And I love like, not layering necessarily, but like putting a cluster of different stickers together. So that's what I'm going to do. So we got some flowers and now we're just gonna add some hearts on them. And I don't think you can put enough hearts on a Valentine's spread, honestly. I think it's super cute the way that the hearts are all over the page. Oh, I don't even think I grabbed one. They're so small. Okay, let me add just a few more hearts. And then the last thing that we are going to do, I think I am officially gonna be done with this spread. Last thing we're gonna do is we are gonna put in some lines on the page because I do want to make sure I have lots of room to write, but I'm debating if I should put it in this color. Maybe this color, or of course we can do a pink. Maybe like a light pink. Hmm. Let's try. I just got a piece of card stuck there. So I think that would be cute. Or we can do this. I like that one too. I feel like the black would be too harsh and this one's drying out on me. So we're not gonna use that one. I think I'm gonna go with the pink and then maybe use this color to actually write with this week. Okay, let's do that. I'm just putting in some lines here. Okay, and then let's also add some down at the bottom. Also add some here. Now what I use this for is just my to-do list and it doesn't even sometimes have to be on a certain day. Um, I'll just sometimes just still put extra to-do list and sometimes I'll use this box in the, um, on the side here. But I think our Valentine spread is done, guys. If you like this spread, um, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye.